whenever I'm talking to someone who's thinking about starting a YouTube channel or they're thinking about creating content on TikTok, one of their biggest issues is appearing on camera. And that's exactly what we're talking about in today's video, how to be confident while on camera. What's up everybody, Stephen Horn here and in today's video we are going over five things that you can do to be more confident while on camera. Now to be honest, these are things that I did because when I first started my YouTube channel, I was pretty scared. In fact, if you go back and watch some of my first YouTube videos, you'll see me sitting there stiff as a bull because I just wasn't confident on camera. So being someone who was in the exact predicament that you are in right now, I feel as though I'm the perfect person to share these tips with and hopefully they help you as much as they did me. Let's kick this off where it starts, in your mind. And what I mean by that is people are watching your videos in order to get some sort of value from you. Whether it's information, inspiration, or entertainment, they're looking for you to provide them with some sort of value. That's why people rarely notice any time that you make a mistake, or if they do, they really are bothered by it. Now, don't get me wrong, there are going to be trolls, people who come onto your pieces of content or your videos trying to troll you and trying to drag you down. And in those cases, it's still not about you. They're just projecting what they view wrong with their sales onto you. Understand that your videos do not have to be perfect, especially when you're just getting started. What's important is that you create your content and then you put it out. And that actually leads to the second point, quantity over quality. A few years ago while playing Final Fantasy, I was on two different in-game teams. And one in-game team where we um, went in to fight against a boss and we died, we would sit there and have like a 15 minute discussion about where we went wrong. And the other one, we would have a, about a two minute discussion about where we went wrong and then we would hop right back in. What I found is that in the latter team, in the second team, we cleared the bosses way faster than we did in the first team because we weren't trying to be perfect, which gave us more opportunities at the boss. The reason why the second team cleared faster is because we had more tries at the boss than we did with the first team. So we were able to correct our mistakes in real time rather than just sitting there and trying to discuss about how we can be perfect in tackling the boss. This leads to the next step, watching your own videos. You'll be able to find small mistakes in your videos that you can fix in the next video and so on and so on. You'll also be able to see that you really have nothing to be afraid of. Sure, watching yourself on video is going to be a little cringy when you first do it. However, the more and more that you watch yourself on video, the more and more comfortable you'll be seeing yourself appear on camera. This is another easy way to build confidence. You can then use all of the information that you gather from your old videos in preparation for your new videos. And that's actually the next step, prep work. Now for some, preparation means that you're gonna write out a full script. For others, you're just gonna write out a few bullet points and for fewer, you don't need any preparation at all. You're kind of weird and I love it. For me, preparation come in the form of writing down a few key talking points that I wanna talk about during my videos. I also write down what I'm gonna say when I open and I also write down things that I might think about saying when I'm closing the video. For example, for this video right here, I actually wrote down a few key talking points that I wanted to talk about in this old notebook. If you're somebody who finds it easy to remember scripts, then writing out a script is gonna be your prep work. However, if you're someone who finds it easy to write down a few talking points and go off of that, then that is gonna be your prep work. Whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you have room to be yourself. Last but not least is patience. Remember, all of this isn't gonna happen overnight, but the most important thing is that you continue to show up and you continue to put in the work that's needed in order to do this. And after a while, you'll find that you have the confidence to be on camera.